We're back at 845 with more of our no brainer week on today food this morning a fitting meal to make for your family on St. Patrick's Day from Irish cook and TV personality Donald Skian. Donald, good to see you. Good morning. How are you? I'm sir? good. You're not wearing green, and you said I don't have to because I got the Irish I've, thing covered. I've got the Irish <laughs> accent. I need no more, for goodness sake. Shepherd's pie, the name tells us where it comes from. Anything I'm not getting there? All you need to know is this is ultimate comfort food. This is a classic Irish dish. It's one that we'll, lots of families around Ireland will be making this uh, this St. Patrick's Day. And it starts off very easily. We have uh, some potatoes now. We've just sliced these up. You need to cube them up. They're in some cold water. Salt the water, bring it up to temperature, bring it to the boil, and you're going to cook these out till they're just fork tender, okay? okay. Um, and over here, in and that's your potato section, because you got to have your potatoes for yep. your shepherd's pie. In here, we've softened down some carrots, some onion, and some celery, so you're going to get that really kind of base flavor sorted. And to that, we're going to add in our beautiful lamb. Okay, could it be another kind of ground beef? Absolutely. You can go in with ground beef, you can do it with pork, but if you want the traditional shepherd's pie, you've got to go in there with that ground lamb. It's essential. It gives that lovely sweet flavor as well. I've seen this part of the cooking process before, and sometimes the meat tends to clump up a little bit. How do you do You just got to go in there and you've got to keep mushing it down just until you get those nice little bits and do stick with it. You're looking for it to kind of brown off a little bit and for all the water just to kind of come out of it and that it cooks off. To that we're going to add in a little touch of Worcester sauce. Okay. It gives you kind of depth of flavor in there. We're also going to add in some tomato paste. I've learned that it's tomato paste and not puree here. Right. This is my American lessons. And then we're also going to add in some of our herbs. So I've got some thyme and a little bit of parsley as well. So all this cooks out. We're going to Any idea how long that's going to cook? This is going to cook out uh, with your beef stock for about 45 minutes. You want to really bring this down. Uh, obviously, you need to cook out your beef before you add the beef stock, but bring it down, cook it out, and make it really nice. Can and I just better. pause for one second and say yeah. we have our little shepherds downstairs oh, look yeah. at, them there. at the table. How's it going, guys? It's really it's so good. So good. No, no, you're supposed to be eating the food. We got Sorry. Guinness. Not just now. drinking we the beer. We got Guinness, man. Carson's, it's like yeah. half gone. All right. You look like you're having fun. Carson didn't know he was supposed to eat anything. It's delicious. And we're putting a lot of butter in with these potatoes. So our potatoes are cooked off. We've got uh, some butter and we've got some milk. And I'm going to ask you to mash this down for me. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is look for a really creamy mash here. And this is a shepherd's pie with a difference because I'm going to do it, finish it off with a champ mash. Now champ, uh, if anyone knows, uh, this is a traditional um, potato uh, dish and basically the scallions in there are going to give you this lovely home of onion. You stir that through once you have your mashed potato and you'll be left with this beautiful big bowl of mashed potato. As you can see, we have our shepherd's pie base. So that's the first layer. All done, all done and ready to go. So shepherd's, or your champ mash goes on top and my top tip here is to add loads of dollops and then join up your dollops. So you'll be left with a really nice cover and a layer of potato So as, a kind of, as opposed to kind of spackling the top, you make lumps and then kind of let them... It's the easiest way so you don't get mixed in with the meat. And once it goes in the oven, it's going to cook out. You will have left this beautiful shepherd's pie ready for your St. Patrick's Day feast. It looks great. Let's get an opinion again Cheers. from downstairs. That's delicious. And we love the Guinness with it. It's a perfect combo. And I love Donald's accent. Will he read me a story? Absolutely. <laughs> Talk to me later. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I want to know what's going on there. Donald, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. And if you want this recipe, head to today.com slash food. Donald's going to be back a little later with Kat. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.